Hello, welcome back. Nice to see you again. Um, today, we're going to look at this watch here. It's a Casio Duo. I recently fell in love with Casio again since the first time, maybe since I was 10 years old and got my first uh, digital watch. Uh, this one, I just loved it. I mean, it's it's blue and it's waterproof. But, um, you know, that's quite a simple way of looking at it. Um, this this watch is cheap. Uh, I paid Japanese yen, about 10,000 Japanese yen, so perhaps 70 US dollars or uh, 65 Great British pounds. It is quite good quality for the money. Uh, it's heavy, it's well finished, it's, you know, it's just got a lovely, uh, lovely shine to it. I mean, it's got reflection, but at this price, who cares, right? It's waterproof to 200 meters. Uh, it's it's quite a big watch uh, to wear. It fills up your wrist quite a lot. And, you know, I think all of us should have one of these in our watch box. Okay, so what do I like about it? I mean, I read lots of people complaining about the strap being plastic. It is a plastic strap, but it's not uncomfortable. It's a comfortable strap. It's a good size strap. A lot of watches I buy... They have very short straps. Uh, my wrist is quite big, so a lot of them don't fit, or maybe it's on the last hole, which is always a bit irritating because you can't tuck it under. Uh, this one is is a it's a massive strap. It will fit everyone, uh, even if you're the rock. It will fit you. Uh, it's waterproof, two hundred meters. You can safely shower with this. You can swim. You can do any kind of activity in the water and not worry about it at all. And I think that's one of the charming points about it. You can spend a uh, hundred, hundred dollars and have a cool looking watch that it's okay to destroy. You know, you're not going to feel bad or too bad if it falls off your wrist and sinks to the bottom of the ocean because you just paid a hundred dollars for it. Uh, but it, it's not going to fall off. It's a good strap, really good quality. And I think you can see from my, my chuffed face, this is uh, one of my favorite watches. It's actually the only blue watch I own. Um, <laughs> I need to get some more. Uh, this one is really, I'm loving it. Um, what I don't like about it is, uh, actually it's part of the design I don't like. Uh, I'm quite picky with the watch hands. And if you look at, if you look at the watch hands, maybe you're thinking that's totally cool, which is cool. Uh, but for me, they look a bit, a bit thin uh, and a bit light given the size of the case. And maybe it's hard to see in this picture, but the hour hand, uh, the arrow is a bit small and the hour hand is a bit thin. I think that if they had beefed up a bit, it would have matched the large size of the case and given it a bit more of a coherent design language. It also has uh, some other nice features, which probably given it's 200 meters water resistance, it has a screw down crown. Uh, the screw down crown is a nice feature to have, but also it's uh, it's a bit cheap. And when I was screwing the crown down, I was quite concerned about cross-threading that thread. So be careful with it. It's it's a cheap watch, and although it looks good quality, it is built to a cost. The other thing that I don't like so much about it is the the buckle. It's quite a thin buckle. It doesn't really match the design of the watch, which is chunky. You've got a chunky watch and a, and a thin buckle. It works perfectly, it's comfortable, it just doesn't feel matching. But, you know, straps you can get cheaply. Uh, put a, a different color strap on this one, it would completely change it. Or even if you want to give yourself a bit more luxury, you can get yourself a metal strap or such from Amazon or AliExpress or wherever you feel like buying it from. Uh, you can buy sapphire crystals for this Duro watch. Uh, I've seen some people change the sapphire crystal, which is great. Um, I'm not going to change it because it's not scratched. If I do scratch it, then maybe I'll think about buying a buying a twenty dollar screen remover from the internet and changing my own screen. But you know, until until it's damaged, I go, I don't really see the benefit of a sapphire crystal over a mineral glass crystal because they're both transparent, unless you have an anti-reflective coating on it, which changes the, the game somewhat so i'm gonna i'm gonna take some close-up pictures of this watch now you can have a, a look how it looks like under the light um it does look better under 
lighting conditions. Outside it's a bit more dull blue. It doesn't pop as much as it does indoors with you know direct lighting of course. Um, but I think given the cost, given the quality, it's a beta. It's a cool beta. It's a cool watch which I don't care too much if I destroy it. Uh, I don't care too much if I lose it. I don't care too much if I scratch the glass. And, uh, and I think that's a beauty of a watch like this. You can use it and it looks good and you don't have to ever worry about scratching it. You don't have to worry about losing it. And I think that's uh, one less stress from your life. It's uh, somewhat similar to having a really nice car and then being worried about driving it to the supermarket and you feel, you know, always worried about your car outside. Is someone gonna park next to it and bash the door? Is someone gonna scratch it? Is someone gonna steal it? And um, it takes away some of the enjoyment of life. And I think watches like this, they bring back the hassle-free life of uh, enjoyment. You know, you can, you can just, it's a, I like this watch. And you can just not worry. Why worry? Why give yourself hassle? Keep your nice watches at home, go get a beater, Go and wear it outside and do whatever you want. Go to the park, go and fix your car, go swimming, go running. Actually, it's a bit heavy to have a Melissa running, but it's there to be enjoyed, this type of watch. It's not to be criticized. It's not to, uh, you know, it's not to be too proud of it. It's not to baby it. Put on your, put on your wrist and, and, and live your life. So this is the uh, MDV 106 model of the Casio Duo. Uh, you can't see it because it's six o'clock, but under here there's a, a small fish and uh, this is now gone in the 107 model. Uh, it seems to be something related to copyright issues. The case is 44 millimeters. <clears throat> the weight of the watch is 92 grams. Uh, the case is machined stainless steel uh, with an aluminium bezel. It has 200 meters of water resistance and Casio claims uh, a maximum battery life of three years using an SR626SW battery, which is very easily bought and uh, easily changed by yourself. The glass is a mineral crystal uh, with a screw down crown and a screw lock back on the back plate. Casio claims an accuracy of plus or minus 20 seconds per month. Mm -hmm.